Hello everyone, Krydax here, and welcome back to Factorio Space Age Gambling Edition, where <laughs> we are uh, gonna try to figure this out. I think we will. It's just gonna take a minute. I might actually change that to a stack size of one. I think it'll end up going faster because it kind of waits for more of the same type. Anyway, in our last episode, we got this set up, but it's not working right now because it's only setting the recipe for like a split second. Now, one way we could fix that, which is kind of what I was starting to do at the end of the last one, is we add together the contents of what's in here, plus the contents of what that insert is holding, plus the contents of the chest for these decider combinators, because then it won't change, right? If the item's in here, but then it's in the inserter, but then it's in the assembler, all that will still be added together. The problem is it will read stuff that's in these and then set the recipe of the building based on what's in these, which is obviously problematic too. So what we're gonna have to do is separately read what's in here and what's in here and add those signals together using combinators. So, we could use a timer or some sort of latch or storage signal to keep the recipe set, but I'm gonna try to do something a little simpler first, which is just, we're gonna read, um, yeah, there's that loop again. Um, we're gonna read this and we do each, uh, I don't know if times one or plus zero is better. Uh, we do that and then we do the same thing for these two right um, so basically this is measuring the contents of everything but this is hooked up I could even do will this add together the red and the green into one output if I do it this way. Will that work? Wait, what is this connected to green-wise? There we go. Um, does that work? Does that add the red and the green? Um, it's tricky. Just to see, is that outputting all of it together? It is, perfect. Okay, so then, oh now I've got trash in here. Um, so now, the output signal here is combining those two and it won't corrupt the, uh, whatchamacallit. It won't corrupt the recipe that we have set. So now this might work if I hook that up. Eh? Eh? Might work, might work. Just maybe. Just maybe might work. Did we just build the simplest gambling machine possible? Actually, no, this is not the simplest possible because it's using combinators. <laughs> and we're using one building to craft all the different rarities. So it's definitely not the simplest possible. But I feel like by using multiple combinators, we really saved ourselves a lot of headache. Um, I think this is working. We'll see. We'll see if it gets stuck on some things. It very well might. Um, it very well might get stuck on some things. But let's get these recycling higher quality stuff. Let's make sure these have all the tier threes on everything. Yeah, I'm guessing the, the proper solution would have selector combinators for sure. Um, I mean, I think we're doing it. And then this is set. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we need, to, we need to change this now. This doesn't need to be hooked up to anything. 
Uh, this can just logistic network. As long as we have less than... Eh. Quality? Quality 3 epic. I mean, I think this is doing it. What we haven't seen yet is... Is it making an uncommon? Which we do have enough to make an uncommon. But it needs to finish making all the commons first, because those built up for a hot second. Um, <laughs> look at how fast these are spinning in comparison. Um... But yeah, if I... This feels dangerous because I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. But let's try making a couple more of these. One, two, three. Oh, we need, we need combinators big time um, in the mall. Oh, this blueprint, are you serious? That was only in my inventory? Oh my gosh, that makes me so frustrated. That makes me so frustrated. So where even is, it's on Gleba somewhere, but it doesn't even show up as an item in the network, but it, but it was an item in our inventory that we put... Oh, actually, no, it's in one of these. That's why it's not in the network. It's this one. So that should put it in the network. Okay. So it's so it's here. Create a copy of this. There, did I just... Wow, okay, apparently that's how you can steal a blueprint from another planet. That's some jank right there, but I guess it works. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, where do I put combinators? I just, I don't really care. Arithmetic. Decider. Collector. Do I already have constant combinators? I might. But, uh, yeah, that'll take a minute because these are going to have to fill up to 50 and these require five deciders apiece. That feels a bit copious. Like, why does he need five deciders? Like, wouldn't two or three have been fine? Like, to me, that feels just more of an annoyance to handcraft than anything else. But what do I know? Uh, apparently, I'm not putting copper wire in the network anywhere, which usually would make sense because, you know, copper wire in the network is kind of iffy, but you gotta at least get some, I guess. Okay, so that should handle that problem. Um, we're gonna need to keep upcycling the quality here. So my own requests, let's not do any of that. <laughs> because if it's not replacing at least five deciders, you shouldn't use one. I don't think that's quite how it works, but that is a funny, funny thought. Okay, so I've got 20 of these bad boys, so let's fill in all this. What's still missing? Oh, these ones. Okay, and then I will handcraft a few more. Just to get these finished. Oh, 
Okay. Now, did this one actually make the, the uncommons? It must have. Then why isn't there an uncommon three? How did an uncommon two get in here? Uh-oh. Did I put that there? Should that be possible? No, that's fine. Sorry, that's fine. That's the ingredient for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, shoot. I didn't do this right. Oh, that's just to recycle rares, but I don't want to be recycling rares yet, so I didn't put it in there. No, I just forgot to change it. Because I'll, I'll still recycle them if I have more than 150 in there. Okay, well... It might be working. It's a slow process. I mean, we literally don't even have any rare components yet. It's a very slow process. In fact, it's so slow that I feel that we really should have four of these running for every set of other stuff. Yeah. Would four be too many? Because if four of these are running, right, then they're producing... a crafting speed output of... They have plus 50% productivity. Crafting speed of 2, so that's 8 times 1.5, that's 12. They're producing an output of 12. But the recycler can only handle an output of 8 uh, with its crafting speed of 0.52. So I actually can't handle 4 of these in one recycler. I don't think. And then there's the question of how many of these do I need per however many of these. Because this is doing all the crafting of higher tier components. Which, depending on how much quality I have, this one will be running more often. So, I think I can do three to one. I definitely can do more than one to one, which is what I'm doing now. So let's... Let's slightly change this build. I like it. I like it. But let's modify it a bit so that we have more than one of the basic makers. Um, which does mean we're going to need to, like, have a belt come in here or something. It makes, it makes the shape less efficient. So I might need to reshape some of this. But if I want, like, three of these... You know, something like this. Um, you know, and then we'll just have to shift these around. Thankfully, cut, cut paste moving those connections is really clutch. Um, I really like that. Yeah, something like this. like we could still scrunch this together better. Um, like I could put this here and then do that. It works, but I'm not getting that 50% prod. Oh, you know, I meant to address that earlier. Yeah, that that is kind of a huge downside of this model. Because when it changes the recipe, we lose the productivity bonus. So then... That comes back to this model being better. Shoot. 
Yeah, this would work fine for assemblers that don't have the innate productivity bonus. Um, well, for now I'm just sticking with it for a moment at least. Uh, let's see. Can I shift this around to be a little better? Was there even a point to moving that? Not really. So, I move that forward a tile. Maybe. Then I can move all those forward a tile. Yeah, okay, so if I put that there, and then I move this here, then I can move this belt here, move that forward a tile, move all this forward a tile. Could I repeat that? Go forward another tile. I believe I could. But I have to move this down here. That there. That goes over there. These need to get shifted. Get rotated, idiot. Uh, I don't even know what these are doing anymore. I can do that. And... That'd be a good place for a substation. Only we had uncommon substations. All right. So I think this is the better method. We're still losing out on that productivity, which is a big bummer. Um, so I, don't, I really don't love that. But there's not an easy way to fix that. Because what I was thinking is we could... I already, I already considered, like, well, what if I doubled these numbers? So we only set it to the green one if we have twice as many. But then the problem is, as soon as it uses up the ingredients for the first set, like, as soon as it starts running the first one, well, now it doesn't have the doubled numbers anymore. So then we go back to needing uh, some sort of timer set up that runs long enough for two craftings uh, to keep the recipe set to that thing. Um, and it is exactly 50% productivity, so if we run it exactly twice, that should always work properly. Um, oh, Pyanodons has spoilage now? Ooh, monumental day, huh? That's bound to be disgusting. That's bound to be disgusting. Okay, well, let's work on that for a minute. Um, what's the best way to deconstruct these? I think I've made a royal mess. Why don't I personally see to the, the mess? How about deconstruct that? Copy the... Uh, we'll give the bots a minute to, to do their dirty work. Ooh, I have two epics! We have our first epic! Quality module threes! Didn't even... didn't even notice! <gasps> our first purples! Yes, I must take a screenshot. Alright, so this... is supposed to be a, a little bit better. Definitely is more compact for the same amount of total processing. Um, oh, the requester chests. Shoot. Um, this is disgusting. 
I have no idea what's gonna end up in the network when I do stuff like that. It just feels like a total mess. Um, okay, so I should be able to do this. And then we need a requester chest for each. Requesting the things other than the circuits. And I'll go five and 20. And then we copy that. And then our own inventory can say panorama. What happened to all of the the like circuits of different qualities? Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't remember if it's better to upgrade the recycler first or the High quality building first or these buildings first? I did some math on it at some point, but. Because if that one's making the uncommons, that makes it a better chance to upcycle to, you know, rares or epics, but. Also, wait, how did I get epics when I deconstructed all this? Because those should have gone into active provider chests if I had made epics. Oh, but I, I have a small chance to make epics on the first try. Right. I didn't consider that. Uh, we have a chance to just straight up make epics, and those are not ending up in the provider chest. Mm, crap. How do I handle that? Um. Shucks. Ah, thank you. Yeah, the answer is the same way we handled this. I do that. And then these have the, the blacklist. Thank you. Okay, that, that's not that bad of a solution. Um, <laughs> I was like, there's got to be a way to do this. There's got to be a way. All right, paste that over. Um, all right. So, let's hydrate with our iced green tea. Got to get some brain food. And now, let's see if we can easily solve the make two at a time issue. If we can solve that, then we actually have the perfect build. Um... Not literally perfect, but you know, good enough. Okay, so that counts up to 20 before it starts recycling. There we go, now we're recycling. These all should be stack size with one. Um, that one is fine enough to me. <laughs> Aloy, you're running out of excuses faster than you run out of points. Uh, well, we can get your, your name next to... Where's a concrete one? There we go. Let's, uh, you can be next to this the schmancy quality stuff that we're doing here. You can have a nice vertical name. How's that? Um, okay, so I'm trying to think about an easy way to do this, and I'm, I'm running out. I'm running out of ideas. I unfortunately think the answer might be a timer, which really complicates this. The whole point of this was to be simple and understandable. 
Um, but there's just not an easy way to keep the recipe set while the ingredients have decreased, right? My whole premise right now is, do I have enough ingredients to run the recipe? If so, set to that recipe. So there's no, it just doesn't have the capability right now to, to, to do that. Um, Because it's going to read the ingredients live, and as soon as I have not enough... Yeah, we need some sort of memory or timer cell. Um, so how do we want to do this? Uh, not really, Edison. Like I said, I'm trying. I'm. I'd like to solve this, you know, myself. If I'm, if I'm specifically like trying to make a certain thing work, and I'm, you know, like I don't mind tips on how to do the thing I'm already trying to do. Like if I've, already, what am I trying to say? Like the type of backseating I don't mind is like, oh, I build an underground because I was trying to do that, but then like, I didn't notice there was an extra underground or something, and then you point that out. That sort of backseating I like, because that's just like loose play, you know? But the the backseating I don't need as much of is the like, oh, you should do this instead, or, or... And sometimes I'm looking for new ideas and new stuff, but like here, like whatever tip you give me, I'm probably not gonna wanna use anyway, because um, it's like, that's your solution to, to this problem. Like, a lot of people have already solved this problem in a lot of different ways, and none of them are wrong. Well, I guess if it doesn't work, it's wrong. But none of them are wrong that work. And I'm just trying to build a solution that works, not necessarily one that's the best or optimized or whatever. So right now, like, the idea of using a timer is certainly uh, the one I'm is the it's the leading idea and i'm trying to decide if i actually want to do that or not um because the timer we would basically read what recipe like whenever we set a recipe that's going to be on this output line which i don't remember what color that is the red line here and the red line then, once we get a red signal, we basically just want to keep sending that signal until it's had enough time to craft twice. And we already know... The, the other problem is power, right? If we have low power, then this could break. Um, is the timer the only option? Uh, no, there are probably others. That might even be... Uh, because we can, we can read uh, the recipe finished, right? So we could wait till we have enough for both, and then I could set the recipe, it could run it once, and then whenever it finishes a recipe, it could repeat that recipe once, and then reset back to neutral. Uh, so we could do something like that. Um, but then we have to have a memory cell, at least one memory cell for that, maybe two. Uh, so that doesn't seem as simple. Hmm. Now... This could be a problem. Is three too many? Three might be too many. Am I a dum dum? I think I am. Three is too many. Ah, I can only put two. Ah, my beautiful blueprint. Um, cause three is gonna make 4.5's worth of outputs. I don't know why I didn't do that math right. And 4.5 outputs recycled make 
125 outputs, which is more than what this can run if it's not running any faster. So this literally is, is on average, going to run forever and not be able to keep up. Well, I don't know why I didn't uh, math that correctly. So that means I literally just need to ditch the third one here. Because two are going to produce an output of three units of output. And that will be fine. Because one fourth of three is 0.75. And 0.75 works. Obviously, I can shift all this up by a couple tiles and move the combinators around. We can at least make this one tile skinnier. Um, I know, the three did look pretty cool. It's kind of a bummer. It did look kind of cool. This would give me room to do it. I could uh, change it so that I'm filtering the epics off right here or something, though. Anyway, uh, back to the timer. I think the timer idea is the simplest, to be honest. Um, so let's work on that. So, <laughs> do I remember how to make a timer? No, no I don't. So let's, we're gonna need arithmetics and deciders in our inventory, for sure. Okay, so let's do I think I can do away with this because now we know and I don't need to worry about the inserter either. I don't need to read the contents. Because now, basically, once I have enough ingredients, I'm just going to set the recipe using the timer and then run it twice. And we won't do anything else. Uh, so, so we need to change... So these deciders... Let's get them more nicely organized. New mod idea, no iron, you start with a recycler. <laughs> you have to recycle your pistols. So so you're basically going with the, uh, what was the name of that? That stupid Minecraft mod. Uh, what's it called? You know the one. Sky, Sky, no. Sky Greg? No. Greg Block? I don't know, GTNH Sky Block, it's terrible. You start out, you have to when you die, you leave a single dirt block with a gravestone on it, and that's literally... Like, the beginning of the game is you just falling to your death repeatedly, because there's not even a, a block. And so... Yeah, it's pretty rough. Anyway. But then you collect those dirt blocks that get created every time you die, and, and, the, and the gravestones, and that's slowly how you progress. So, anywho, these numbers will double them. Double it. And then the real trick is going to be parameterizing all of this. Oh, joy. Won't that be fun? Won't that be fun indeed? Heck, I don't even know if I can parameterize this fully. There's certainly, like, obviously there are some parts of this that I can parameterize without too much trouble. But can I parameterize the entire thing? I'm not, I'm not certain. Okay, so that's all right. So we're waiting till we have two sets of ingredients. Boom. So when we have two sets of ingredients, these output a signal. They will not output the signal to the assembler. 
instead they will output the signal to some sort of repeater. Now, the best part is I can use that signal as the timer. I don't like I don't have to um I don't have to make some separate timer signal cuz the amount of the signal that I'm outputting doesn't matter. So, we can do some sort of arithmetic uh loop so we'll red wire to the input. This will have a green wire to its own input. And then I just do each plus one. Output each. So we get a signal. Oh no, but then it's, what if we get one signal and then 10 seconds later we get another one because then it's gonna start cycling that one. But then it can't run two things at once. Oh no! Oh gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Because right now this will break if it's running the uncommon one for two cycles and then halfway through that or partway through that we have enough ingredients to make a rare one then it's going to start that'll start and get joined into the cycle so then we need some sort of sensor that senses when this is done that sends a green signal and then we only send one of these signals into this when we get a green signal See, this is, this is the complicated nonsense that I was trying to avoid. Um, the funny part is, if I had started with assemblers, this would have worked perfect. It's only the productivity of this building that's messing me up. <sighs> okay, so... So let's ignore that for a moment. Because I think we can fix that separately. So the timer bit, when we send a signal, it'll loop back and forth. How long will this take to craft? They all take the same amount of time, 60 seconds. Crafting speed of 1.95. So that's 60 divided by 1.95, which is 30.77 seconds. Multiply by ticks and we get 1,846 ticks. So 2,000 ticks Maybe 2,200 ticks should be plenty to get all the ingredients inserted. So we need to reset this when we get to 2,200. So what we need to do is we have an arithmetic that has the same input as this one. No, no, sorry, a decider. And when we get, if, if anything is greater than 2200, then we output that thing. It's going to be one tick delayed, though. Um, this tick perfect stuff is always kind of weird. So then I need to... So that will be true on the same tick that this has 2200. On the next tick, this will send to here, and then on the next tick, that'll send to there. So I need to add, I need to go negative 2202. Maybe. Uh, and then add that in with red. Alright, uh, easy way to test is we get a constant combinator. <sighs> circuit time! How we love our circuit time. Do I have constant combinators? No. No, we do not. Okay, so let's try an initial input. 
what if these added one? What if this got ready again within the same... Is that even possible? I mean, probably not. I don't think it's possible. Let's ignore whether it's possible and let's just say it did. Then this would add one more signal. But that will be stopped by having the whole green ready. These won't actually send the go signals until these are ready to re-go again. So that, that should be fine. We'll get that figured out. Um, so I don't need to worry about that. I don't even think it's possible in the first place because if we were... As soon as we're ready to do two recycles of uncommon, and then that runs, we've already lost one whole ingredient amount for an uncommon. And I don't think it's possible. I guess if both of these made uncommons, and then this, eh, maybe it is possible. And then this recycled both, and we got lucky on both. then we could have two more ready to go before this one. Yeah, I guess technically it would be possible. It's just not likely. Um, anyway. So if I send a W signal, this should count up to 2202 and then it'll reset. Now, the problem is this comedy needs to be off. Otherwise, it'll be one too high. Ah! I timed it. I timed it right. Success. Great success. Very nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's it. We did it. I'm sure we could have done this in less than three combinators. Um... a decider basically become an arithmetic hold the phone um can you do each 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 one input count wow the new deciders are so strong that's so cool because you're basically adding one more on top of whatever the input count was. And then you could do... Oh my gosh. There's so many things you could do. Uh, I'm not I'm not going there. We could go there. I'm not going to do it. We could probably make this two or even one combinator if we were really uh, thinking with portals. But we're not thinking with portals right now. The last problem to fix is the initial signal fix. So, so what we need to do now is basically if, if there's any signal on this green network, then we are not ready. So we need a decider and that says, you know, I'm getting tired of the player avatar. I, so mech armor is cool, but the the annoying part is it it makes it so that the game plays out more like an RTS, like you're in remote mode anyway, or map view mode. And so it's kind of like being zoomed in, I'm like it actually kind of gets in the way. And then it just makes me want to use remote view all the time. But then remote view does weird things like not having things in your inventory. And so it's almost like I want my screen to be offset. Um Anyway, uh, where, where were we going here? So, if anything is greater, it, uh, let's see, if, if everything equals zero, then we're clear. And then we have a decider that says if any, 
Uh, and green equals one. How do I do? Basically, I want non green is greater than one and green equals one. Um, yeah, Alor, I actually wish that were true as well. Kind of like you can turn off exoskeletons. Each is greater than zero and green is one, then output one of each. That will output a green signal. Just use different colored cables. Ah, yes, I keep forgetting we can do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so then we can just do anything and then we'll output anything. Okay. Um, and then the red signal has the thing we want to craft, and the green signal has the, the go button. And then... And then we send the thing we want to craft... What did I say? The red signal has the thing we want to craft, and the green signal has that. Perfect. So I think we might have solved the problem. Uh, you know what problem we haven't solved is freaking biters attacking and doing damage all over the place. Um, but that's a different problem. Wow, we really kind of went crazy with combinators here, didn't we? <laughs> so... And then I should just be able to set the recipe off of that signal now. I think that's it. Um, we're not reading the chest. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We got a problem. The timer's going to go too fast as soon as the signal's true. It might only be a problem for right now because there was too much stuff in here. So it took a minute to go underneath the amount. Because in most cases, it'll get triggered literally the moment we have enough stuff. And then as soon as the inserter takes one of those items, it'll go back down below that signal. So I think this is mainly an issue right now while it's running to get rid of this backlog of stuff. I don't think this will be an issue in the proper build. But we've already talked about like, what if these two were to finish or what if the recycler were to, to give back two recipes worth of stuff and it just happened to give me all the ingredients? But it never will, right? No, it never will. Recycling... Right, right, right. I don't know why I forgot this. 
it will the recycling will give me literally exactly one quality module two every time there's no chance there's not a chance to give back four quality module twos when i recycle this it will give me exactly one quality module two every time so there's no fear the recycler would have to run four times to give me another ingredients worth and i'm not going to be able to make four modules in that amount of time so all that to say I think this will work fine once we get rid, we, we work through this backlog. Um, so it might be best if I remove the backlog to start with. And I just preemptively put in 50 of those. And it should recycle anything over 20 and we'll just see how things run from here this is such craziness um, I'm kind of proud of it but it is such craziness and I don't even know yet if it actually works so let's let's work on the design of it like the shape and stuff so first thing we can do is move all this up to there and then this we can change to have a single of those and we'll sort it out here um That actually pokes out, which I don't like. Perfect. Substation there. Okay, um, so now there's actually just combinators everywhere. So we need to clean this up. I could fit two up here, one there, and the rest are gonna be taking up extra space. Now we gotta shove combinators wherever they fit. Assuming this works. Now the other thing is I haven't set this up for legendary. Um, so the question I guess I have to ask myself is do I wanna redesign this for legendary later? Do I wanna do it now? Or am I going to come up with a better design by the time I get to legendary? Um, to add in legendary processing, it would require another two combinators. I'll just add it later at my own risk. But yeah, let's do some Combinator Tetris. Put those there. God, I hope I didn't disconnect anything in that. Um, I don't think we can actually remove this line because I can fit one, two, three. Could fit a fourth up there. Uh, oh, we can actually fit them all. If, if we can get everything to stay connected, we actually can do this. I broke something. Wait, where did this one go? Oh, over there. I, actually, it can go here. Um. Oh no. We lost a connection. My life. You know what we need? There's pipe visualizer. Is there is there a uh, circuit visualizer? Cuz like 
It's actually really hard. I know that it highlights them, but it, it doesn't highlight well enough and it needs to highlight the entities that it touches as well, not just the, the wire itself. Um, yeah, we could undo. I think it's only this one connection though that's busted. So I think I'd rather just figure out what that one is. It's just this one. Oh, no, I uh, I never actually connected it properly in the first place. Oh, now we've gone and done it. Oh, right, 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 right. So if, if we still have... Uh, it's just gonna run away forever. So, so shouldn't I do input count? Wait, how do I do this? I wish I could do input count times negative one. But then you have a one tick delay to that. It was a load bearing. Disconnected combinator. Yeah, I've definitely screwed up here. Um, I should just be able to do that and reset it. Okay, this corner is some hot, some hot action. Um... Okay, let's see if this works now. We got one running. We're running the normies. Um, does this work? Uh, yeah, Waskily, we haven't gotten the Spider-Trons yet. That'll probably be... Uh, someday. We wanted epic quality first. Okay, that, that seemed to work. And this is running... Wait. That counted up way too fast. This is counting up two at a time. And I'm not sure why. Why is this counting two at a time? I'm doing plus one. Yeah, I mean, we have the ability to make artillery in Spider-Tron. No, maybe this is fine. Did I just count the number of ticks wrong? Oh, uh, that does have a stack size of one. Do we need that anymore? Let's override that. That could be part of the problem. Even then, shouldn't this finish the recipe in 30 seconds? Okay, we're, we're close. Okay, so the issue is the 2200. Uh, needs to be a different number. So let's say 2500, and this is 2502. I'm very glad this game is deterministic. Otherwise, these sorts of count perfect tick things with combinators wouldn't work. But like, I know it feels weird. It's like, oh, what if it was off by one? But it's like, if you programmed it the right way, it literally cannot be off by one. It's not possible. Assuming there's no extra signals getting added into it. So it feels risky to do it that way. Cause it's like, oh, if it was literally off by one, it'll miss the count and then run away forever. But it can't do that. I believe combinators are fine with low power. Okay, so this reset, but that was in the middle of this running, which is the way we want it to work. So this should finish the extra productivity craft. Now the question is, are there any rounding errors here or will it actually produce two items?
Not actually sure. I should have been watching the products finished. Deterministic, he says, when using a slot machine. <laughs> hey, some things are deterministic, other things are not. Um, low power for combinators, I believe, has no effect. I think if they're partially powered, they count as fully powered. I, I, someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, actually, please do correct me if I'm wrong on that. <laughs> I need to know. Ah, oh, crap. Why didn't it keep going? No. Wait, why is this already at a thousand when that wasn't done yet? Oh, God. Oh, we need to read if it's working. And add that to the everything equals zero signal. Um, is that okay to combine? Actually, yeah, that's okay. Uh oh. No, that's not okay. Um. Setting the recipe with the numbers that are counting up. I want to separately read if it's working. Now the problem is I can't use the anything signal to count up. Oh, no, no, no. I just changed the each color. Is there a reason this has to have a red output? I don't think so. That's fine to be a green output. That gives me a red input for this now. And I can take off the green. Or, what am I saying? Now we don't want that signal to end up on the green somehow. So we need a set. Is there a way to can? Uh, this is so tricky. Uh, I want. The problem is this is set by the output of this. It also needs to be connected to the input of this. So no, there's no way. Unless... Oh boy. That's fun. If I do that, does it work? Another combinator to filter out, but no ray claw, no more, no more combinators. I want to make it work with just using the right colors of wire. Um, now, why is this running at all? The recipe should have been set to nothing. I guess it was in the midst of it. Okay, okay, it's running. It's sending the red signal. Okay, we might be okay. I might have done it. Because that way we separated the red from being added back into this loop, the timer loop. 
And then this shouldn't allow the okay light until the red's done. So this should reset around 2,500. Perfect. But then the red signal's still going. Perfect. Okay, we might, and I think we might have solved that problem now. So now this won't start looping some other... That's why the timer was off before. I think the 2200 ticks might have actually been okay. But I think it was this error that was causing it. So now... That's done. And now we've started a new one. It's set the new recipe. It's running. Everything's hunky-dory. I think we might have done it. Unfortunately, now that we fixed this version, we have to play Combinator Tetris again. Because <laughs> uh, the redesign that I played Combinator Tetris with has the wrong circuitry. Um, having a blue wire would be nice. We need a blue wire to send the green red signal. <laughs> yeah, the Having a blue wire would probably hinder more players than it helps. However, the players that it helps are very helped by it. So, I forget, is there a mod that makes that possible, or is it, like, hard-coded to not be possible? Okay, 55 products finished. 57. Okay, we are getting that productivity on the last thing. Perfect. Perfect. Wow, I can't believe this is working. This is exciting. This is really exciting. I know this has been an hour and seven minutes in the episode, standing here and looking at combinators. However, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, because I know I have. Um, are there better solutions? Certainly. But this is my solution, and therefore it's beautiful. Now, the question is, are there some small ways that we can redo things? Um... Probably. Like. Rather than going all the way around to the bottom here, I could just go here. Um, and down. So that, that feels... Like that would be better. that um just flip the recycler now now that's just too logical come on now uh why would we do that <laughs> so, <laughs> look my brain i think is uh at this point it's just too Two neurons banging some rocks together and hoping for the best. So, <laughs> that's... <laughs> oh man. What's funny is I was thinking about rotating it, but I was thinking about rotating it like this, and I was like, that wouldn't really make it simpler, because like, if we had Bob's adjustable inserters, we could make that work, but otherwise it wouldn't work. I don't know why that particular rotation did not occur to me. Because then that does away with the need for this, and that massively reduces how much space we need. Because uh, now we can fit all these combinators in a little better. Um, it does mess with, though, the, the epic filtering that we had previously done on the end of this. So I could instead epic filter like this. And then these are back to being anything inserters. And now this can, can go. Ah, uh, no, no, no. But that doesn't work because these need to move up. Yeah. Okay, let, let's work on the design of this real quick. How do we have some room? Okay, so... 
Because really, it would be nice if these were up in line with that recycler. So that's the top of it. But then these are all wrong. So maybe I should just do the epic filtering the way we were doing it. I don't know. Then I can do those two there. I don't even need that. Um... It's almost feeling like these could be closer somehow. Uh, how would that work? But it almost feels like I can do this and make it and make it work. Like I mean, technically that works, but is that now less compact or more compact? We saved one tile from the left, but now the combinators aren't all going to fit, I don't think. We've got room for... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen combinators. And I have twelve. Uh, will it side load? Now there's a question I don't know the answer to. Yes, yes it will. Um, oh, and I need, oh no, and I need the substation. So this won't work. Uh, wait, 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 no, 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 we can save ourselves another tile of space here. Substation there, right in the middle of everything. This is cursed, man. This is so cursed. This is the blurstest. Oh, but we're not doing the epic filtering. Oh, no, no, I can do the epic filtering here. I could even use the same thing, but then we'd have extra belts. Um, this is so... This is so wrong. I feel I feel like I've committed a crime. I don't think the the combinators are gonna fit anymore though, because I've got room for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I don't have enough space anymore. And I have twelve combinators. So So I guess the question is, which way do I want to expand it? Do I want it to just have an extra tile along the bottom? Or do I want to move these back one tile to the left? So it's one tile wider. Yeah, Dave, I already considered using the same chest, but then the belt would have to be longer and that would actually take up more tiles than it, than it saves me. Um. And I guess I technically could... Uh, no, that doesn't save me tiles either. <sighs> so do I want it to be one longer or one wider? Is the, the question. I think... I think it was a lot cleaner when this was back a tile. So I think I want to go with that version. Because this, this mess is kind of weird anyway. Um, so let's just go back to this version. Why does the belt need to be longer? Because the items we need to get over here. Uh, I guess I could have used a long inserter to save a couple tiles. But if I was using the same chest, the inserter would have to grab from something. Um, anyway, I can also move this to be like on the back there. That saves a little bit of room on the bottom for combinators to stay organized. Oh, I could have just moved the chest on the right. Yes, like I just did. Yes, that is true. Um, I'm just thinking, is there any filtering I need to do? And I think we're gonna have to do this again. 
and I'll have to change that to legendary when this becomes a legendary maker. And then there's gonna, there's a there's a point. I don't know if it's reachable, but there's a point at which this can't keep up anymore, because the amount of uncommons and higher that we need to make is greater. So, like, at some point, I actually need to go down to one and one rather than two to one. I don't know where that crossover is. Uh, it certainly has to do with the quality levels of these. Or does it? Or does it? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. these are making three outputs worth of stuff that gets recycled into 0.75 worth of stuff so this already has its handful hands full three fourths of the time and then it also has to make the commons uncommons rares and epics so the question is if if i if a fourth but the items that this makes are already factored into that 0.75 though so I think we'll be okay, actually. Because even though this has to make the uncommons, when I said this makes 0.75's worth of this after recycling, that's some percentage of what this makes is already uncommon to then get recycled. So I think I think we'll be okay? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out later if it's fast enough. Um, anyway, regarding the combinators. So... Let's just scooch these up here. Scoochy mama. Move those over. Move these over. Move those there. Move that there. Move these two up here. And I think that does it. Ta-da! The gambling machine V3.0? Can we call it 3.0? I don't know how many iterations I've done at this point. Um, I am going to manually grab some things, which could be painful. If there's enough recipes for an epic, I might grab it or manually insert those items. Um, I'm only going to paste one for now because I feel like we're, we're going to make another mistake. Oh, I see another mistake. We forgot power. So we are going to have to use medium pulls for this. Uh-oh. One. Two. We're going to need uncommon medium pulls because of this stupid one on the end. Everything else would work fine with regular medium pulls. But this single combinator uh, isn't going to work without external power at the moment. Okay, that's fine. That's fine for now. Okay. So let's at least... I know I have... Uh, what are the rest... What's the recipe again? 5514. Five, Do I have enough of any particular color? I have a lot of these. We've at least got some uncommons for this to work through. We'll see if that can catch up. I have two epic threes. Look at that, 4.7% quality. Nice. And we've got rares here. Look at the fruits of all the labor. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. Quality is 20%? That's so much! I have a 20% chance to upgrade? Oh, that's beautiful. So yeah, a decent number of what this makes will already be uncommon. 18% will be uncommon. 1.8% will already be rare. And then this will recycle. I, 
I mean, I don't know if this is working perfectly, but I think it might be. Look at how many quality twos I have. Oh my gosh. Get rid of all these random bits and bobs. And then change my own. Yeah, I guess the question is, does this catch up or not? Because I'm kind of scared. I could feed more of these quality threes into the recycler to kind of speed things along. But I'm scared to do that. To overwhelm this single one. Because I'm still not entirely certain if it ends up catching up or not. Now I'm going to change this to be five. We only store up five regulars. We only store up five uncommons because I'm going rares or bust. So we'll store up rares and epics then by doing this. So then that'll recycle most of them. All right. Well, I am pretty proud of this blueprint. I will put it on my Discord for those who want it as a starting point to mess with stuff. Um, quality stuff. We will call this the Grand Gambler V3. Obviously, it's gonna look a little different with assembling machines. With assembling machines, I probably will put a third assembling machine in here because without productivity uh, and then the other pro oh, there's all sorts of little problems with this because the other problem is when we're using when we're making intermediates like if i wanted to use this to roll for legendary blue circuits for example then we actually do want some productivity modules in in these buildings um so I don't know how much you guys know about the math of quality, but it turns out that you actually do sometimes want productivity modules mixed with quality modules. I believe the, the shift though is only once you have rare or higher prod threes, which have a 19% productivity bonus each. Uh, and in case you are a visual person, I'm talking about the rare productivity module threes or higher. Oh, 16%. I think once you have those, it actually is more efficient to mix some of those in with the quality modules that you have in your crafting buildings. Obviously, that only works if you're working on gambling for an intermediate that can accept productivity modules. And I don't... I think the ratio of how many you put changes slightly based on whether you're using like electromagnetic plants which have an innate prod bonus versus assemblers which don't. There's all sorts of chaos with that. Um, but yeah, all that to say, I think... Uh-oh, I think these are starting to build up too much now. Yeah, I'm going to copy this. We're going to run a second copy, and we're just going to see if we start it with nothing, does this end up getting overwhelmed or not? If we start with nothing, does it get overwhelmed? Um, we shall see. And then I don't have enough of the rares. So there's two. For now, I might have to use some uncommons in these. But yeah, I believe this is working. Again, like I said, we'll see if this ends up overwhelmed. Oh, well, this building's not running, so maybe we're okay. It just looks scary. Why does it have so few regular superconductors, I guess is the question, because it's got a lot of these guys but no superconductors. 
Is that just luck? Is that a luck thing? I think that's a luck thing. Um, okay, new question. I still have plenty of superconductors, right? Yeah, this isn't actually using very many per second. Um, newer question. We're an hour and 25 minutes in this video. When is it going to be over? Uh, <laughs> how's Fulgora doing? It looks like we're actually okay. I am trashing the things that are building up. I honestly kind of can't believe Fulgora is still running. But it is. It's just working fine. Whatever we set up, whatever chaos is going on here, still seems to be functioning. Um... Uh, this, uh, refined concrete. Now, that's a problem. We do have a problem. That should be not zero. Um, why do I have zero refined concrete? Nope, wrong search. I don't want this view. I want the map view. Refined concrete. Okay, what's going on over here? Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Now there's a funny problem. What what a fun funny issue. Um We have too much of the good stuff. Let's just not do that anymore. That's that's really funny. Okay, so that fixes that issue. I do think we're going to call it an episode there. This has been the grand the grand gambling episode, and hopefully, if we did it right, this will result in lots of rare and epic quality modules. Obviously, we'll do speed and prod, and maybe some efficiencies as well, but I just wanted to start with quality modules, because you need the higher quality to get the higher quality, so this was the obvious place to start. Uh, but yeah, we'll call it an episode there for you future YouTubians. Uh, I'll keep streaming, though. If you're here live, stick around. Uh, but as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode.